straight out to our very special, special guest, uh, Mindy McCready's ex, Billy McKnight, father of her older son, Xander. Uh, Billy, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, what was your reaction when you heard Mindy McCready had apparently committed suicide by shooting her dog and shooting herself? Uh, well, you know, I, the, the first thing that you know, my heart through, fell through my, uh, through, my, through my feet, I was just thinking about my son uh, and him having to hear this terrible news. I, that's all I could think about is how is he going to take this? You know, he, he just was told a little over a month ago that, that David killed himself, and uh, now he's back in a foster care, and he's about to get news that his, that his mom's gone, and that was horrific for me. Now, uh, you've, you've said, and I understand that, and my heart goes out to you, and I hope all of that is resolved, and uh, that these two little boys, uh, Xander and Zane, his uh, younger half-brother, that, that it all works out for them. My heart is with them. You said, Billy, that you were around when Mindy attempted suicide twice. What, if anything, were the reasons that you know of for her feeling that suicidal urge, not once, but repeatedly? You know, Mindy had a, a troubled soul. Uh, what, what, what she, well, you know, people didn't know about it because it, it made so many papers. But on her everyday life, uh, you know, there, there was happy times. But a lot of times she was just she was just bitter, and and she she spent a lot of time um, embracing the darkness, I guess you could say. And and um, she couldn't she couldn't win the battle with her demons. And you know, I, I, one time it was at my place. It, she uh, popped a whole bottle of pills and, and a whole bottle of wine, and she, we almost lost her then. And, and it just seemed like a pattern that was, uh, uh, you know, it was going to happen. She couldn't, she couldn't find peace. Uh, when you say that she had demons, so she had drug and alcohol problems, what was her drug of choice? Well, you know, you know, she she liked the pills, but when I when I say demons uh, on a on a personal note, like just her life and 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 the troubles that she had in in her, within herself and and within her family and friends, uh, the, the drugs it took it to another level and and made it unbearable. But you know, she didn't have peace. She wasn't happy. Um, uh, you know, sometimes stardom backfires. She was very young when it hit her, and and instead of uh, humbling her, it, it made her arrogant, and uh, and and unfortunately, it, it got the best of her. Uh, so, so th those demons are the ones that I I really feel were were the hardest ones. And then and when the drinking and the drugging came on top of it, 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 there's just no beating it then. And and as you mentioned, uh, McCready had reportedly attempted suicide twice before here she is last month just last month on nbc just days after her fiance uh purportedly killed himself after he died i've never gone through anything this painful nor will i ever again go through anything this painful howard samuels she walked out of rehab earlier this month after two days why well, Jane, you know, many people that go into rehab, they go in because of an emotional bottom that they hit. And it's great that she went in. But what ended up happening to her, like many thousands of people, is that they start dealing with all the feelings without the drugs and the alcohol. And all these horrific feelings of loss and grief started to come up for somebody like this. And she could not get through that wall. You have to break through the wall and be able to sit with the feelings and deal with them and talk about them. But unfortunately, a lot of people, when they hit that wall, they run.